Okay, let's go through some examples. Um, so the first couple examples are going to be just looking at finding equivalent resistance. Uh, the first one's already worked out for you. So here's the circuit. There's um, uh, two resistors in parallel, and then another resistor in series with those. And it says find the equivalent resistance if R1 is 10 ohms, R2 is 20 ohms, R3 is 5 ohms. So the idea is that we can um, replace this with a circuit that looks like this with some RT, and that'll be equivalently, it'll be resistantly equivalent to this one with the three resistors. Electrically equivalent, sorry. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, so I, it's done in steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this circuit here with one that looks like that. So I'm going to simplify one part at a time. Uh, so the first part then is I'm going to replace these two resistors that are in parallel with an equivalent resistor that I'm going to call R4. So this is like the idea of the RT. So 1 over R4, which is like the RT, is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So that's what I did in this line right here. Um, and then I plug in the values. So 1 over R1 is 1, 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 20. So that's equal to 3 over 20. So 1 over R4 is equal to 3 over 20. And that, you cross multiply. Anyways, you, you're, you just kind of think of it. You take the inverse. So R4 is the inverse of that, which is 20 over 3. So... I now know this circuit here. And if I want the equivalent res re circuit or equivalent resistance for an R4 and R3 in series, I just add them up. So finally, the total resistance, RT, is R4 plus R3. So 20, 20 thirds plus 5, you get 35 over 3, or 11.7 ohms. So let's try another one here. Um, so we're doing it in steps, and the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with an equivalent resistance. So we have R1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to look at R5. So, or I'll call it R parallel. So 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over R3 plus 1 over R2. So what I'm saying then is that I'm finding a resistor which is equivalent to that. So 1 over our parallel is R3 is 1 over 5, 2 is 1 over 5, so that's 2 fifths. So R parallel is 5 over 2. So now I know this. We have that, that, that. So this is 10 ohms, this is 5 halves, and R4 is 15. So this is equal to some equivalent resistance like this, RT. So RT is 10 plus 5 over 2 plus 15. So that is uh, 10 and 15 is 25. That's 2 and a half. So I get 27 and a half ohms. So in fact, this kind of chunk of a circuit there is exactly electrically equivalent to that chunk of circuit there. All right. So with that in mind, we can analyze some circuits. Um, Kind of the first one, do this kind of like a almost like a warm up. We're just going to find a bunch of stuff. So there's a circuit here, uh, there's a battery, a resistor, a couple of parallel circuits, another resistor, and we know some voltages and some currents. So we're just I'm just going to go through and just see what stuff I can find. So let's see here. What do I know already? Okay, so I'm going to look at this junction right there. This is I2, 
I3 and I1. And that means I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So we have 2.2 equals I2 plus 0 0.8. Therefore, I2 is equal to 1.4 amps. All right. Um, let's check out this one right here. R3 is equal to V3 over I3. V3 is 7 volts. I3 is 0.8. So R3 is equal to 8.75 ohms. All right. Um, what else do we know? Let's find R2. R2 is call this V2. V2 over I2. So it's 10 over um, 1.4. That's 7.14 ohms. All right. Um, here's an idea. We have this kind of loop. Um, these voltages have to be the same. This, from there to there, is 10 volts. That means... Uh, let me do some color coding here. That's yellow. Green. So from the green to the yellow is 10 volts. That's what it says right there. So that means that total voltage has to be uh, 10 volts as well. So we have 10 volts equals 7 volts plus V4. So V4 is equal to 3 volts. All right. Uh, we can then find R4. V4 over I4, so 3, it's supposed to be 3 volts, 3 divided by uh, I4 and I3 is the same, so I3 was 0.8, so R4 3.75 ohms. We know that, 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 that. Um, we have to find those. We got to let's do R1. R1 is equal to 24 volts divided by I1. So R1 is 24, 2, 10.9, and let's find V5. Let's do a, let's do a Kirchhoff's law on that one. There's a loop. The total voltage gain in that loop has to be equal to the voltage drop. So we have a gain of 60, so that's equal to 24 plus 10 plus V5, and therefore V5 is equal to uh, 34, that's 26. There we go. Now we know V5, we can get R5. So R5 is V5 over I5. V5 is 26. I5 is the same as I1. They're, they're all in the same path. So that's 2.2. So R5 is equal to... 11.8 ohms. There you go. We just found out a whole bunch of stuff for circuits, or for this circuit.